what's up y'all this your girl gigs welcome back to the channel this is basically a dear gigs video um i got this letter actually recently and i kind of put this letter before all the other letters because this one seems like this person really really needs my help immediately so i'm gonna go ahead and read the letter and give my opinion on the letter in a moment so here we go it says dear gigs Hello, Miss Gigs. I've been watching some of your videos and you always keep me smiling. But at this moment, I'm not smiling. I really need your help. He beats and burns me. The guy I'm talking about is my father. I've lost all connections with my mother not too long ago, so I stay with my father. Lately, he's been very abusive. When I do something to make him mad, he burns me with cigarettes. I have four burns on the lower back. He slaps me in my face, beats me with my studded belts. He even dumped boiling hot water on my back when I didn't clean up my room. After all of this, I just think that he's punishing me for being bad, so I straighten up. But he still goes at it. The only time I can ever get online is when I'm over at my friend's house or at work. I know you're wondering why I haven't tried to get help from family members. And my reason why is because a month ago, I came out of the closet to my whole family, telling them that I'm a lesbian, so no one even calls me anymore. I love my father, and he's all that I have left now, but I need help. My father is scaring me, and I hate to see what else he might try to start doing to me. Wow. Okay. This here is crazy, y'all. Really crazy. Um... I'm not sure how old you are. You didn't mention it in your video, but I guess you're old enough to work. And um, I think you said that you go over your friend's house. I didn't see anything about school in the, on, on here or anything. So it seems like you're of age where it looks like um, you can do something about this. Um, I know you love your father, but you can either press charges on him because this is the abuse that is not needed. No human being deserves the right to have cigarettes put out on their skin or boiling water thrown on them at all. No one deserves that at all. I'm not sure, again, how old you are, if this could be, could be considered child abuse maybe or just, you know, abuse. If you're old enough to where it's not considered child abuse, you can just go ahead and press charges on this guy. Get him some help because he do needs help. Hopefully when you press charges on him, um, they'll, you know, sentence him to some domestic violence classes or some type of classes that will help him but the only thing I could think of is to press charges on him I like I said it would it would be more helpful to me to know if this was like uh, someone that is uh, you know underage I'm not sure but if you are underage I'm gonna treat this letter both ways if you are underage call the police Call uh, like family services or something that's in your area over here. We call it children's and families. Call them, let them know what's going on in your home so you can be placed in a better home. Or either, um, if you're an adult, you can just you know what I'm saying, just start taking care of yourself and get out of this situation. Um, I really am sorry, you know, that you're going through this. Um, I don't know what kind of mother leaves their child, but, you know, I'm not even going to get on her right now. It ain't even about her. Now, it ain't even about your family because, you know what I'm saying, everybody can't accept the, you know, the obvious. If you're lesbian or whatever, it has nothing to do with them. You know, it's either they accept it or don't. They don't, so oh well. So, you know, since they cut all ties with you, you shouldn't even look their way anyways because they're not the real Family, they shouldn't even hold the name family because they cut all ties with you um, by you know your sexual preference or whatever. But um, you know if there was a real family, they would be there for you. If your mom was a real mom, she would be there for you no matter what. But it looks like only person you do have is your father who is doing all this nasty stuff to you. So you ought to go ahead and press charges on this guy if you're working. You know that that right there is enough to for you to start you know b thinking about the future you know taking care of yourself um programs there's programs out there that probably can help you too um a lot of people 
you know, talk a lot of stuff about all of these government programs that they have out there. And, you know, I know there are some people out there that probably do take advantage of the government programs, but the ones that really needs to help overlook the programs but there are major major programs out there that can help abusive women abusive children abusive anything or just you know um especially i'm not like again like i said again i'm not sure if you're young but if you're young you can be placed in a foster family that someone that will actually you know take care of you now there are some of those foster parents out there that do some grimy ass shit but you look like you're of age enough to know what is right and what is wrong. So if anything is done grimy, you're at the age to speak out on it and, you know, try to get some help on it. You know, so the only thing I can tell you is press charges on this guy. If you're underage, contact children and families. Let them know what's going on, you know, and get rid of him. This is not something that a father should do most people that has been done this um for has been into this situation for a long time gets used to it because they think that it's the right thing that they that their father is doing the right thing you even put in your letter that you love him and you know he, you think he's doing it because he wants you to straighten up from you being so bad but there's other ways i was bad when i was little i wish you know my mama would not i don't wish it but if my mama would have poured some boiling hot water on me, the first three numbers I would be dialing is 911. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing I could tell you. You're old enough to write this letter and to have a job. So I'm thinking that you're not in a child abuse category. So the next step is to dial 911, press charges on this guy. And, you know, think about the future. Try to find some programs in your area. Google some programs for crisis like this and in your area so you can get help to live on for yourself and not for your father or, you know, what so have you. But I, that's the only thing I could think of. Anybody who's watching this video, if you can think of something else, please put the information in the comment section because this young lady would be watching this video so you know let's give her some words of wisdom some encouragement to leave to dial 911 and whatever we can do to help her this is your girl gigs anyone else has a problem write me at egiggle79 at yahoo.com and if you want my advice or my opinion on it i will get the letter read the letter and you know do a video response on it if you want to remain anonymous let me know you want to re remain anonymous make sure the heading says dear gigs because i get a lot of spam messages and i just end up erasing everything but if i see dear gigs on the heading i want to erase it it lets me know that it's one of the people that are subscribed to me our views my dear gigs and you know i would know not to delete it so i again uh, apologize to the young lady that's going through this just you know stay tuned watch the comments and please get some help this is your girl gigs bye